Hello friends! This time we are going to test a video card from EVJ company, which has an original cooling system, factory overclocking and compact dimensions. The video card NVIDIA GeForce JTX 960 has long been on the market, being one of the best solutions in terms of price and performance ratio for assembling of mid-range gaming systems. EVGA GeForce JTX 960 4GB SC Gaming differs not only by factory overclocking and by licensed cooling system, but also by an increased video memory for up to 4GB. There are some references on the video card package stating that the model belongs to Superclocked Solutions line, which has factory overclocking and employs licensed cooling system ICX 2.0. The supply set includes user's guide, a CD with drivers and utilities, as well as nice bonuses such as a power supply adapter, DVI to DSAP adapter and a poster. EVGI GeForce JTX 960 4GB SC Gaming is made on a compact black printed circuit board with a standard layout arrangement. Power supply of the new product has been implemented by using quite a standard 5-phase circuit in which 4 phases are designed for the power supply of the graphics core and the one is used for video memory subsystem. One 6-pin PCIe jack is used for power supply of the testing graphics adapter in addition to the slot PCI Express 3.0216. Due to the coolest proper location, it does not prevent PCIe cable disconnection. The tested model is based on the graphics chip NVIDIA GM206300, produced by 28nm process technology. It includes 1024 CUDA cores, 32 rasterization blocks and 64 texture units. As we have already said, the video card is distinguished by supplied overclocking of the graphics core, which frequency performance is mounted in 1216 and 1279 MHz for the normal and the dynamic modes respectively. The memory with total capacity of 4 GB was assembled with four chips made by Samsung. According to the specifications, their effective frequency equals to 7 GHz. The tested product provides the following set of interfaces for image display. One DVI-I, one DVI-D, one HDMI, one DisplayPort. The branded cooling system ICX 2.0 is featured by a restrained design and sufficiently compact dimensions. The CAT occupies two expansion slots and has a total length of 193mm, as measured in our lab. Actually, the cooler consists of an all-metal ripped radiator, one axle fan with blades of 86mm in diameter and a plastic icing that covers the entire structure from the top. The installed fan is a PowerLogic model based on a long-life double ball bearing. Two copper heat pipes 8mm in diameter are used for even heat distribution over the whole radiator area and which are not covered with a layer of nickel. By automatic speed control on fan blades at maximum load, the graphics core has been heated up to 72 degrees. The cooler was working at 25% of its maximum capacity. At the same time, the noise level was quite and absolutely comfortable. By no load, the fan was stopping to rotate at all, turning the cooler in a full passive mode. The GPU temperature has been reaching 49 degrees. As a result, the cooling system ICX 2.0 copes well with its direct functions and would not interfere with the high noise level during everyday using. While comparing performance of the new card with its model line competitors, we should know that it is 18% on average ahead of JTX 950 and 47.5% behind JTX 970. If you do not take into account on 4K Ultra HD mode, and then the gap of the first model is reduced to 14% and of the second one to a little over 46%. Competitors from AMD, namely the Radeon R7 370 and Radeon R9 380, have also shown different performance. The first one has given away 25.6% on average, and the second one showed almost identical performance, being ahead for 5.3% on average. 
By full HD test, the lack of AMD Radeon R7 370 has been reduced to 24% and the advantage of Radeon R9 380 has increased to 7%. As you can see, the tested video cut is the perfect solution for all the modern games in Full HD resolution at maximum graphic settings. We have managed to overclock the GPU on 130 MHz by means of AVGA Precision Utility, which automatically increased the GPU voltage up to 1181 to 1250 mV when changing the power limit parameter. Dynamic frequency has increased from 1279 to 1409 MHz on average, increase of just over 10%. At the same time, the video memory has been overclocked up to 8480 MHz, almost 21% increase compared to the relevance value. Also, we had a possibility to increase the voltage and to set it up to 1250 mV. However, it did not give a chance to achieve a better result. Rotation speed of the fan blades during overclocking has been set to the maximum level. The GPU temperature has reached 49 degrees only, that indicates an excellent performance of the cooling system. Finally, we have managed to achieve an average growth of more than 15%, which is a good result, allowing the new product to increase the gap between its competitive models. The testing results of the video card GeForce JTX 960 AVGI 4GB SC Gaming have proved that it showed its best performance, combining the increased video memory capacity, a good supply set, a stylish design, as well as the factory overclocking. It is also noteworthy its good overclocking potential, which allowed us to get an extra performance boost of 15%. Let's pay special note to the licensed cooler ACX 2.0. Despite its compact dimensions, it is worth it to cope with the overclocked GPU cooling and does not disturb you with the high noise level during everyday using. And by the normal level of the GPU load, the cooling system turns on to the passive mode at all. As for the special features, we can traditionally note a higher noise level after a forced increase of the fan speed to the maximum level. As a result, AVGA GeForce JTX 960 4GB SC Gaming will be an excellent purchase to assemble a compact gaming system. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!